So how do slot machines work? Here we've got the workings now stripped out of the casing of a common slot machine. Now most slot machines work the same, doesn't matter whether it's a Mills, a Sega, a Jennings, they all have the same functionality and that is to accept a coin, spin some reels and pay out. So we're going to take a look at the operation of this mechanical marvel and how it actually works from the moment you put the coin in to the moment it pays out. The main connecting arm along the back here pushes the clock forward. So when you pull the arm this twists and pushes the clock forward using this arm here which in turn pushes this clock Now you'll notice that when this pushed the clock forward to wind it up, that was a wind up session. Now we can look at what else happens at the same time that that gets pushed forward, several other things happen. The vertical payout fingers at the top here, these are the ones that go into the side of the reels, which have been removed, are pulled backwards out of the way and they get locked in the backward position. The other thing that happens are these three brakes. As the can moves forward, it moves these brakes out of the way. Now just for clarity, we've moved them out of the way already. But remember, these three brakes are the ones that hold the reels static. So as the clock winds up, it pushes that timer bar just here. And this pushes the brakes away from the reels. Once the brakes have been moved forward off of the reels, and they're free to spin. As you pull the handle down, this mechanism here, which is termed as the kicker, spins the reels. It basically moves and flicks the wheels to spin them round. As the kicker kicks the reels around, this little bar here you'll see will move forward at the same time. We're still in the wind up zone at the moment. The rod you just seen move forward is just down here and it's that that pushes the whole cluster of payout slides forward. And you can see that just here. Watch closely as we repeat the move. As that bar pushes these slides forward, this little locker shoe will go in behind the slides. And it's controlled by this bar here, which is that timing bar that controls the brakes. So as the clock moves forward, this moves forward, pushes this little lock arm behind the slides.
Watch that happen.